Hey there, welcome to day eight of content repurposing tutorials where I'm gonna be sharing with you time-saving content ideas for all of you busy creators out there. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to make a quote graphic inside of Canva, but we're gonna use AI. Be sure to stick around to the end where I'm gonna show you how to create a month's worth of quotes using AI. The first thing we're gonna do is head on over to Canva and we're gonna type in the search bar, quote. Once you've typed that in, Canva's gonna take you to a page full of awesome templates that you can use for free or for paid. The way that you know which one is free or paid is if you look right down here, there's a little crown here that will show you if it's pro and then if it is free, it will not have that indication there. So let's scroll through and find something that you like. You can choose a template and everything. I'm gonna go for something quite simple today. So we'll click on this template right here and what you'll wanna do is press customize the template to further customize it. Now that we're in here, a few things that we can do to further customize it is changing the colors, changing the fonts, and changing the actual quote. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, and once we have our quote in there, like I said, we can customize the, the size of it, the position, everything like that. I'm pretty happy with that. We can simply just share and continue to download as needed. But here is the great thing that we can do right here with Canva and also coupling AI with it. We can create even more quotes to last us an unlimited amount of time. But today I'm gonna to show you how to do 30 days worth. So let's go ahead and head on over to ChatGPT and we're gonna start a new prompt. I'm gonna say, you are a motivational content speaker. Please share 30 inspirational quotes for content creators. One thing that you need to do is ask it to go ahead and put it in a table for you. Please put it inside. And you're good to go. So look at that. AI is literally giving us different quotes that we can use. And also some of them are coming with the quote from the actual person that we can change as well. Can you please put the name of the person in a different column? We asked it to put it inside of a table, but we weren't specific. We're asking them to put the actual author in a different column. And we're going to need that for when we import it back into Canva. So you can just simply ask it. Let's see if it listens. Awesome. Now that we have this here, what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of the different quotes that we have. Copy. We're gonna head right back on over to Canva. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press apps and now we're gonna look for a bulk create. And we're going to add this bulk create here. And what we're gonna do, you can do a CSV, but we're gonna enter in the, the data manually. Gonna press that first cell and paste everything in there. So we have the number, which we won't need, but it's fine. We have the quote and then we have the actual person. We can go ahead and press done. What we're gonna do is we're gonna press this here and we are going to click on those three dots and we're gonna connect the data to inspirational quote, which is the actual quote. And right here, we are going to also connect the data to the person. All right, and now that we have that there, we are going to press continue and it's gonna automatically put all 30 of them inside of this document for us. Generate 30 designs. And now we have a document with 30 different graphics. And we can look at them all here and it has the name of the person, even if it's unknown, already in there for us. These are pretty simple things that you can do. Like I said, you can customize it as much as you want. This is just give you an idea of how quickly you can get it done with the help of AI. Now, all you need to do is go through these quotes and make sure that the spacing is suitable. So for example, this one right here is a little bit too, it's taking over there and I will just center it. And once you've done that and you make sure everything is spaced out accordingly to how you like it, you can go ahead and download all of these to be able to post on your social channels. You'll do that by pressing share and you can press download or you can share on socials because Canva also allows you to automatically post to your social channel should you choose. I use a different platform called Metricool which is also on here for me to be able to use as well. 
There are a ton of different ones. Do whatever you need to do to make that happen for yourself. Have you ever posted quotes on your social channels before? Is it something that you're interested in? I'd love to know in the comments below. Don't forget to join me tomorrow for day nine where I'm gonna show you how you can use your Twitter X threads and post them on Instagram.